You've been working on this lead for a while, and now they are finally inviting you to make your pitch. Most of us will respond with something like, yeah, that's great. I'd love to share more. Full stop. Love your family, not your prospects. When a customer invites you to describe how you're going to help them, stop yourself. Don't let your enthusiasm show too much. Play it cool. Remember, the more that you look eager, the less attracted they are going to become. Instead of telling them what you think they want to hear, stop and ask yourself, hey self, what is the real message behind their invitation for me to make my pitch? I'll give an example in a moment. Here is the main idea. Reframe your whole attitude. Consider how you may not want to do business with these people. Interview them rather than them interviewing you for this relationship. Flip the power structure. Now, don't get cocky, but think of it this way. By not using needy language, you give them a reason to elevate you to their status level. By not rushing in, you show them that you don't need this sale. You want this sale, but you don't need it. And there's a big difference there. Average sellers rush in, gushing with enthusiasm, sugar sweet, overly excited. So instead, you are gonna go slow and consider not talking about your product or service automatically. This is gonna help you stand out from other sellers who, when they're invited to pitch, will immediately lower their status. So instead, position yourself as having equal status with the prospect. Think about the last time you jumped at a potential customer's invitation to speak. You were so happy to explain how you can help. So when you spoke, you gave them everything that they would need to understand your value proposition, the benefits of doing business together. And then silence, no questions, no nothing. Everything just kind of stopped. Well, here's what probably happened. When the prospect asks you to talk, to basically scratch the itch that you created to earn the right to speak to begin with, if you over scratch, that is why they go silent on you. You provoke their curiosity, but then you smothered them in details. With all this scratching, you left them fully satisfied. You gave either so much information that they had no questions at all, or if you answered in an email, you gave them enough information to put off taking that next step. And usually that means they go silent on you. Quick story. When presenting his services to a customer, Alan Connolly had a matrix moment. He was Neo, just like in the movie. He suddenly started to see all the ones and zeros in front of his eyes. A new version of reality just kind of appeared. The prospect asked Alan how a learning event, which is what he sells, would be delivered. Without skipping a beat, his colleague proceeded to talk about the hows and the details, says Alan. And at that moment, the ones and zeros appeared before his eyes. And once his colleague stopped talking, Alan referred back to the prospect's original question and asked, hey, you know, what prompted that question? It turns out they did not want to know how we would deliver the program. They were more concerned with the chosen venue's layout that it might cause issues. Alan said the matrix had opened at that moment in time. He really got to the truth of what really mattered to the prospect. And thanks to that, he said, our prospect is a little bit closer to getting a learning solution that really works for them because of it. So here is the big takeaway for you. When invited to pitch, avoid automatically telling potential customers the problem that you solve. Just hit pause for a moment, think, and don't miss the opportunity to understand the meaning behind that invitation or the meaning behind the questions that customers are asking you. Taking this approach, this hesitation will actually help you present as an equal because you're gonna consider resisting the temptation to talk about your product or your service and be less happy to explain, be less eager to explain how you can help. After all, think about it. They aren't eager, so you don't be eager either. Don't allow your enthusiasm to transmit, I need this conversation, I need this sale. 
being less happy and less eager also gives them a reason to see you as the one who is not sure if you want this conversation. Okay. If you're new to the channel, my name is Jeff Molander and I study how the most successful persuaders don't persuade at all. So if you're open to my changing the way that you think about persuasion and sales outreach, hit subscribe and consider leaving a comment below. It really helps the channel, guys. So I really appreciate it. All right, remember your new habit, giving potential customers a reason to start the process of convincing themselves to take the next step. No more persuading. All the best and see you in the next video.